What's up, base campers? Um, so I'm answering a question about getting uh, lower back pain when working the core. A lot of people tend to avoid core work um, for many, many reasons, but I guarantee one of those reasons is probably because you experience low back pain. Now, the lower back is what I believe to be part of the core as well, so the whole midsection, but that's not to say that you should be experiencing pain when you're doing this move. So um, we're going to take the example of uh, leg raises and I'm going to demonstrate that video in uh, a, a body movement that we call thoracic flexion, which is basically like being in a crunch the whole time, as opposed to thoracic extension, which is arching back. So uh, there's a, a number of movements that we put in our programming that require you to be in uh, thoracic flexion. So this crunch position, and that will actually, at least from my perspective and a lot of my clients that I've worked with, alleviate a lot of that back pain. I'm really just focusing on keeping that thoracic flexion whilst doing the movement. So have a look at this video, try out leg raises doing it this way, and see if it works for you. Forgive me for being shirtless, it's pretty important for the video to for you to be able to see my thoracic spine, because a common way to do leg raises is to just be flat on the ground here and raise up. Which, to be honest, is a fine way of doing it, but um, I would like you to do it this way because you get more core activation. So, rather than just being flat on the ground here, we're going to go into thoracic flexion, which means we're kind of doing a crunch, pulling shoulder blades off the ground, and essentially we're kind of holding a crunch through the whole movement. It means that you have to do less work and you get more benefit. So, keeping the shoulder blades off the ground, we're going to start with this easiest progression of just the bent knee leg raise. And if you need to make it more difficult, which you will throughout your programming, then we extend the knees. The moment that the lumbar spine comes off the ground, and you probably can't see it there, but uh, let's say you can see the white under the back. Now I'll get it close. So what we want to avoid is seeing that daylight underneath my back there. We want to keep thoracic extension, which means basically like a crunch position. We also want to squeeze our glutes and go into a posterior pelvic tilt. So we're rotating the hips backwards. So that's why we start with this easy progression with bent knees and we lift up. So. The next progression is just obviously straightening the knees a little bit more every time until we're doing the straight leg version. Guys, this is why I do videos for all of the exercises that we have in our programs because a photo or a series of photos can be interpreted in any different way, but often there's only one, maybe two ways to do an exercise correctly and a thousand ways to do it wrong. So everything we have in our programs is a video from me that we go through in detail what needs to be uh, done in the movement, how it should feel, which parts of the body are working, and that way you're gonna be getting maximum benefit out of the work you do. You don't have to do a thousand reps, you just gotta do 10, 15 really good ones.